it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days. Now keep in mind, this reading may or may not be for you, okay? It may not be, or it may be. Take what resonates and leave the rest. This is probably for right around the 20th through the 27th, okay? But it's seven days from the date that you watch it, okay? So if it resonates for you. So what do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We'll take that. Rat! Well, rat, someone working against you behind your back. So there is someone working against you behind your back. Imagine that. No way. No way. You're dealing with, you got a rat, okay? Wonderful. So what do we have for Gemini? This is a pest. This is a pest. May try to cause some damage. Sneaky, very sneaky. You think you need an exterminator. Anyhow, what do we have for Virgo? Oh. Aries. Maybe it's an Aries. Let's get one more. Someone is working against you behind your back. Oh my God. Enemy disguised as a friend. You have an enemy disguised as a friend. I'm gonna show you what's on the bottom. We have an X. We have an X here. So, whew. There's an enemy disguised as a friend. Somebody is working against you. They may be scheming. Did I say sneaky? I think maybe I did. There is somebody that is scheming against you. Let's get one of these. I feel like it's a woman, okay? I feel like it is a woman. Maybe their ex, the person's ex, one of their exes. I feel like it's a water sign. Could also be an Aries. And I say that because this is my second Virgo reading and I, uh, I messed up, so I decided to do it over, but we had fair-haired woman in the round cards, which was a dealings with a blonde, gray, or white-haired woman, or fair-skinned, or both. We also had... Uh, financial constraints so I feel like this woman is suffering financially and she may be attacking you or she's upset over something that you have um, I don't know if it's your partner's ex or something like that or somebody's wife or somebody that you work with um, anyhow what do we got for it's a fair-haired woman. What do we have for Virgo? I'm sorry, I, got, I just had salad and I think I have a piece of lettuce in my teeth. Um, anyhow, what do we have for Virgo? Contract contract so this has to do with some sort of there could be news of legalities and I saw that in the other one so but this came out reversed just now so I'm wondering if there's some sort of karmic contract something may not be going in your favor or something didn't go in their favor and they're very very angry somebody is very angry with you this does have to do with a contract it has to do with um, some sort of legal contract of some sort. It could also be a karmic contract. Um, there's a rebalancing of the scales that are going on. There's a decision that is being made. You know, you got to be careful because I feel like you could be dealing with somebody that is, you know, after your money and they may be disguising it with love. So somebody could be coming up with some sort of plan. And I think that you need to be very careful with who you're working with. Be extremely careful. Um, somebody may be trying to come up with a get rich quick scheme. Um, and they may be trying to be your friend, but they're not really your friend. They're going to be going after your money. I saw financial constraints quite a bit. Okay. Um, you got an enemy disguised as a friend. 
This person is, is working behind your back. They're doing something behind your back. And it has to do with legalities. I would stop working with this person already immediately if you know who they are. Immediately. If you have anything out there that's dealing with this person, cut it off. Cut it off right now. Clean it up. Oh my God. Clean it up. It's interesting that I said cut it off. Clean it up. You've got to clean something up right now with somebody. I'm going to go ahead and read that card. Um... You've got to protect yourself from this rat. Trust me. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your, keep your, your, your nose straight. You need to, you're going to have to really, uh, you need to, you need to, you need to get rid of something. You need to get rid of this past. You need to get rid of them and you need to get rid of them right now before they cause some serious damage. But take your whole house down. 21. Getting to the core of a situation, clean it up. Freedom from a burden, cleaning house, sweeping away what is no longer needed. Ever feel so bogged down with emotional gunk that you can't think straight? Could you be surrounded by phys physical clutter in your home also? Too much work, overwhelmed? Time to clean house. Every item out of place, every item out of place, this says natters. N A T T E R S away at you. Natters away at you. Okay, every item out of place natters away at you. Every unresolved resentment, every comparison to others that leads to a sense of lack takes up energetic space. Every unpaid bill just adds up to an unnecessary feeling of being overwhelmed. Now is the time to free yourself by energetically cleaning house. You need to clean a bunch of shit up. All the contracts, everything that you have hanging around, okay? Just do it. Make room for the miracles that are, that are lining up for you. So there's some sort of miracle that is lining up for you. Time to clear the air. Take a look at your side of the street and say what's on your mind. Sweep away the old stuff so that a spring breeze can flow through with new energy. It's the perfect time to do an inventory of your dynamic and see what's yours and what's not yours. To clean up the relationship, everyone brings some baggage. Sort through what is, what you brought with you, and let go of what is no longer needed. Become unencumbered and your relationship with fl will flourish. So as you got you to seriously do some cleaning house this week. Simple things like opening your mail, paying bills, sorting out your timetable, making lists, and getting organized is what this symbol means when it comes to your work. Make time for yourself too. This card is a sign that you may overburdened. You may be overburdened and overwhelmed. It is okay to say no. You'll prosper even more if you do. It is possible you may be focusing too much on other people right now, trying too hard to help to be helpful. Does taking on what belongs to others make you feel needed or desired? Perhaps you think it's your calling to relieve people of their burdens. But what is the cost to you and to them? Don't clean up someone else's side of the street. You're not helping by freeing him or her of responsibility. You're also not doing yourself any favors. And you just might be adding an even greater strain to yourself. You are loved as you are. You don't need to be needed to be loved. That is a damn good message right there. So, oh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got for Virgo? You got somebody here that is not your friend. They're using you. They're using you. Nine of Wands. Empress reversed. Queen of Cups. Whoever you're dealing with doesn't see your value. I feel like you're dealing with a water sign. I saw that before. Somebody that uses emotions, okay? They may see that you don't know your value. They may see that you don't know your worth. They're taking advantage of you. 
Um, they may see your vulnerability in some way. I feel like you need to protect yourself. You need to uh, set boundaries. You need to set some boundaries. I feel like um, you need to work on yourself. You need to focus on self-love during this time. King of Wands, Death card, and the Devil Reverse. So we got majors here. Uh, we got three majors and we got three minors. So we have the end of a situation. The Death card is right underneath the Empress Reverse. So that is a major completion, um, an ending with a new beginning to follow. There's something here that is toxic, that is unhealthy. Uh, whoever you're dealing with is connected to somebody that is very, very unhealthy. This person may be using emotional manipulation. We got the Queen of Cups. We're next to the devil. So that's emotional manipulation. There's some sort of lies here. Uses emotions to manipulate. I feel like you're going to need to be strong. You need to have courage. You need to believe in yourself. You need to take care of yourself. Okay? You need to put yourself first. I feel like this week you're going to be going through some sort of major life change. There could even be a death, okay? Because death is death. There could be an ending. Could have to do with a father. Could have to do with a mother. Could have to do with a child. And I wouldn't say that there's, I mean, I, the, the Empress Reverse is a, it's a loss, okay? It's an emotional loss. Um, could just be somebody leaving home, you know, or feeling empty and lost inside because, you know, the children have left or something like that. Um, the devil reversed is breaking free from an unhealthy situation. Taking control, taking control. I feel like you need to take control. I feel like you've got somebody around you that is very, 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 very manipulative. This person may have enlisted your help. They have enlisted your help in some way. This person is determined to have you do the work, but I feel like this person is not really interested. They may be uh, engaging in negative patterns and trying to, I feel like there's another person. There's another person involved here. Um, let me get another card. Two of Cups reversed, Five of Cups, and Ace of Pentacles reversed. So this is a this is a loss. It's a loss, grieving over a loss of a partnership. Two of Cups reversed, Five of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So there's a separation here. Death is right in the middle. So that is a profound life change, an ending, the death of a situation. Um, or, you know, there's a need to sever ties or things are going to get worse. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that, I don't know if they're already in a partnership or you've been in a partnership with this person and there's going to be a separation. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, um, is very challenged with that nine of wands. I feel like they're determined to, uh... They're determined. They're determined to hold on. Let me get another card. Fool reverse. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries because we have the King of Wands as well. So it could be an Aries. We have Capricorn. We have Scorpio. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Taurus and Libra. Um, foolish behavior. Unfinished business. Naive. Um, poor judgment call. Stupid. Stupid. Somebody may think that you're stupid. They think that you're, they may be taking your kindness for weakness. You need to be damn careful. I think that you do. I think somebody is taking advantage of you. Um, and they're playing on your emotions. They may see your big heart and they may see that you have a really big heart, but you don't know your value. It's interesting that we read that about need. You know, don't, you need to protect yourself. You need to take care of yourself before you take care of anybody else. This week, I feel like you need to take control. Whoever you're dealing with has complete power over you. You need to take your control back, okay? You do. You need to end this situation right now. That's what the death card is. You need to sever ties with somebody that doesn't know your value, that doesn't treat you with respect. This person isn't giving you anything solid. They don't have anything solid to give you. They may not even be paying you for whatever it is. We have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. You just need to drop it. You need to let it go. I feel like uh, it's going to hurt. I feel like you're going to, because I feel like you have some sort of emotional attachment. Queen of Cups next to the devil reversed. That's an emotional attachment to this person. But this person, whoever it is that you're dealing with, 
um, I feel like they're already connected to somebody else. I feel like they're already connected to somebody else. They're not willing to separate. They're holding on for dear life. They're unwilling to give up. Okay, this person is unwilling to make any changes in their life. So I feel like you need to make a decision. You need to choose. You need to take your power back. Okay, you need to take back control. I feel like you have, some, maybe you're obsessed. Maybe you have some sort of infatuation with that devil card with reversed with this person. Um, there is going to be an ending with that death card. There's going to be the death of a situation. We have somebody here that is breaking free. They are taking action. They are taking action to break free from a toxic situation. Um, so there is definitely a separation here with the Two of Cups reversed. It feels like you are dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. I think I already said that. There's also a Pisces Cancer Scorpio involved. I feel like this person... Um, <sighs> there's toxic behavior it's toxic they may they may um hey man not want to let go somebody doesn't want to let go it's hang man reverse they're refusing to let go they're 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 hanging on for dear life so there is somebody that is i don't know if it's their ex we saw that card right there's somebody here that is hanging on for dear life you could be getting an offer from somebody that doesn't want to doesn't want you to give up maybe you've been working for them or you've been doing something for them um they may see that you're giving up. They may see that you're not investing. So they may step it up. They may step it up a notch, you know, to not lose you. It feels like there's somebody here that doesn't want to let you go. But there's also somebody else that doesn't want to let them go. So that's, it's very interesting. Um, death card, major change, major, that's right in the middle. That's a major transformation. It's where you are right now. We have the death of a situation. Something is coming to an end. There's some sort of termination here with that Empress reversed. There's no growth. There's no tender loving care. We have somebody here that is has made some sort of mistake. They've made some sort of mistake and they it feels like they're going to be uh <laughs> There's taking action, taking action to make some sort of change, severing ties. Somebody may say that they've severed ties. They may say that they that they've uh, separated from somebody, you know, and they but whoever they've separated from is not letting go. I feel like you're going to be dealing with some strife this week. I really, 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 really do. Um, I feel like there's something going on here beside, behind the scenes where I feel like you're being duped. I feel like you're being duped. I feel like there's, there's some sort of scheme here. There's some sort of scheme and I feel like you need to be extremely careful. I feel like, I feel like we have a, a masculine and a feminine that are working together to, uh, pull the wool over your eyes. And I think that, that you need to, uh, Really be aware of your our surroundings, and I do not think that you can trust whoever this person is that you think is your friend, okay? This person is not your friend. Um, this is a scheme, it's some sort of scheme. Devil reversed, devil reversed, severing ties or things are going to get worse. This is a disaster. And then the Ace of Pentacles reversed is a loss, okay? It's it's a loss, loss of money or a loss of security. Um, losing something, lose, losing something, unplanned loss. And we have Five of Cups right next to it, which is grieving over a loss. Uh, wishing, regretting, regretting, uh, regretting. Somebody really is regretting. They're regretting. Um, and crying and, and suffering. We definitely have suffering here. I feel like we have somebody here that is is going through a transition. You know, and I'm not, I'm not sure that it's you. I think it's another person that is in your, this dilemma. 
okay? This person is going through a major life transition. They are severing ties from a toxic individual that is very uh, manipulative. This person uh, is a schemer. Whoever it is that they're dealing with is scheming and has been manipulating them emotionally. You need to hold on to your value. You, need to, you don't need to involve yourself in this kind of drama. It feels like you're getting yourself involved in some sort of drama. You don't, you don't need to be involved. You don't need to be. You don't need to play this game with these people, whoever they are. I feel like you should be on guard. You should be, you should be with that nine of wands. You should be on guard, okay? Because I feel like uh, you're going to need to protect yourself. You need to set boundaries. You need to protect yourself. Don't be reckless. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid because you have a big heart. Okay? There's somebody here that is, gonna, that is trying to take advantage of you. You need to protect yourself in some way. It's either a fire sign or a water sign or it's both. These two people could be working together. Two of Cups reverse is disharmony. It's a disconnection of a partnership. It's a detachment. There's, there, there's, there is. Somebody is detaching. They're detaching from a partnership. And there's crying over a loss. There is. Two of Cups reverse, Five of Cups, and Ace of Pentacles. That is crying over a loss. It's, it is. Okay, so there's tears. There's tears. There's tears being shed over a loss. So you may be crying over a loss maybe you know there's something that is ending that is causing you a lot of pain we have the empress reverse you know maybe you got yourself involved in something because you didn't know your value you know maybe it was a third party situation um whoever you are dealing with engages in toxic behavior this person is not solid they are not stable it's like they're not realistic they're trying to prove something to somebody else this person is highly egotistical and they will never ever 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 change the hangman reverse there is somebody here that was never going to change they engage in toxic behavior and they've done it and they've done it over and over and over again this person is very skilled at emotional manipulation whoever you're dealing with um i feel like you've been played i feel like you've been played by an individual we have pisces we have pisces with the hangman and the queen of cups we have scorpio and capricorn libra gemini aquarius um and Aries, Aries a couple, Aries like three times. So you could, this person has a lot of Aries in their chart. Um, there's definitely an emotional loss here and it may have something, to, this is a termination. This is an ending. It is definitely an ending or it's a loss of, you know, a relationship or it could be a loss. And I'm going to be honest with you. It could be a loss of a family member. You know, the Empress reverse can be a loss of a child. It could be a mother. It could be a father with the King of Wands. It could be. There's a separation here, and it could be just be a separation of your parents. If you're, if you're, you know, there's a separation here, and it is absolutely emotional. It's so you're going to be dealing with emotions. You're going to be dealing with tears. Um, there is a woman. There is a woman here that is causing havoc. I'm positive. I know that there is. This woman is refusing to let go. She is going to be the one that is causing the problems. Um, but I feel like there's a masculine here that is playing both sides. I feel like this masculine is playing both sides. So that's part of, that's part of the problem. If this masculine was on your side, you wouldn't have these problems. If this masculine was on your side fully. Okay. I feel like there's a masculine that is going back and forth between the two of you and it's causing havoc. Um, so yeah, I feel like you're going to be dealing with a loss this week as you're cleaning up some sort of serious mess. Good luck.